Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2000 GMC Thomas Type A school bus. This is a 16 passenger and one wheelchair. And it's powered by the 5.7 liter gasoline engine. I'm excited to show it to you. Let's check it out. So this thing is uh, 23 feet bumper to bumper. As I said, powered by the uh, GMC slash Chevrolet 5.7 liter gasoline engine or GMC slash GM, whatever you want to call it. All right, so pretty standard type A school bus here. I'm gonna show you all the tires. These are getting low. These are all at about 430 seconds, 430 seconds. Uh, they're not in the best shape, to be completely honest. You can see some cracking and some chips there, but if you do need a new set of shoes, just let us know. A little pan underneath here. You can see some surface rust there. Mm. Nothing too crazy, but it is. There is enough to point out. So just want to point all that out. Mm. Uh, coming on inside, we have a manually operated bifold passenger entry door, black ribbed aisle step away, white step nosing, and some grab rails coming on in. Uh, going over the driver area, driver's seat upholstery. Looks great, no big rips, cuts, tears, anything like that. Going all the way up. All right, sitting down, this bus does have 255,000 miles, 255,987. Uh, from left to right, over here, we got your climate controls. There is no air conditioning in this bus, just to make that clear. Uh, we do have an AM, FM cassette stereo here. PA jack with a PA mic mount. Haven't confirmed if this works or not, but it is equipped. Uh, up top, we got uh, heated mirrors. <clears throat> Both sides there, the lift, uh, rear heater. It's a three position switch. Off, low, high. And then your interior dome lights and your compartment light, which is in there, which we'll show you in a second. <clears throat> all right, here's the uh, compartment with that light there. You can see all your relays and everything. There's the light. Nice shot of all that. Everything is also labeled, which is nice. Makes it easy for your mechanics. All right, so as I said, this is a uh, 16 passenger and one wheelchair. So you can see the spot for the wheelchair lift here, 16 and one. You do need a CDL to operate this in every state. <clears throat> wheelchair position there, that is uh, the 16 is two kids to a seat. So we got four here and four here. So a total of eight seats, two to a seat, that's 16. Seat covers are in good condition. There's no like foam sticking out or big holes. See, uh, you know, just some wear and tear, but over and above all look good going all the way down. Uh, we got two emergency roof hatches up top, speakers, a total of four, two on each side, and some dome lights as well, as you can see. And I'll give you the interior dimensions because uh, we begin people asking a lot for that. So from the uh, back of the driver's seat here to the back wall, it's gonna be 14 feet. Interior width, wall to wall, is seven and a half feet. So if you think of it like a big rectangle of usable space, 14 by seven and a half, and the interior height in the center of the, center of the aisle is six foot. All right, that'll pretty much do it for the inside. Let's check out the outside. All right, looking at the outside of the bus, Skirts are in good shape, so are the rub rails. They're not all rock chipped. As far as the rub rails go, skirts are still nice and straight going down. I'm gonna show you the uh, rear passenger side duels. Again, these are all around 430 seconds. Give you a nice pan of underneath. Frame back here is looking good. You're gonna see little spots of surface rust, but over and above all, frame is looking pretty decent underneath. All right, so this is equipped with a Rikon wheelchair lift here. Very easy to use. If you want to go up, you just hold down the up button. And with lightning speed, it'll get all the way there. And then if you want to stow, you just hold down the stow button. Very, very simple to use. Toggle switch there, turn it off, and then does have this hook here, so in case it's windy, this doesn't you know fly and 
hit someone. And then you can close the door just like that. Got a few touch up paint spots on the wheelchair door as you can see. Uh, these corners tend to be where you'll see the most damage on these buses, not a whole lot of evidence of that. You can see some people resealed up there around some of the rivets. But over and above all, bus is, is looking good. On the back here, got a little bit of corrosion on the bumper here. Kind of see where it's been painted over. Just want to point that out. Driver's side corner looking good as well. See a couple more corrosion spots where it's been painted over. Going down the driver's side, these skirts are looking great, all nice and straight. Rub rails look good. Windows all look good, all nice and tinted. I'm gonna show you the rear uh, driver's side duels and a nice pan of underneath. Show you the front and driver's side tire. And last but not least, I do want to point out this does have a Washington State Patrol safety inspection sticker from 2021 here in Washington State. If you, uh, if a school district is going to put a school into, or a bus into service, it needs to be inspected by the Washington State Patrol, and this passed just last year. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses on our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099. Visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thank you for watching.